444 deputies voted, 203 in favor, 52 opposed, 189 abstained. The same passed the law. The draft amendment to the Supreme Court will now go to the upper house of parliament. The Senate's next session is scheduled for February 8th, but it is possible that it will be accelerated. We are waiting for the work in the Senate. We hope that Mr. Speaker Grotsky will very quickly send the bill to the procedure and then we will have the president's signature. Initially, the bill was to be processed back in December, but after President Andrzej Duda's statement, who called for calm and constructive work on the amendment, the decision was made to proceed normally, rather than in an expedited manner. The president has set the framework within which all justice reform projects should fit, and that framework is the Constitution and its provisions and the permanence of judicial appointments. It is possible to sign, not sign or refer the bill to the Constitutional Court. The amendment to the law on the Supreme Court will help fulfill a key milestone through which Poland will receive funds from the National Reconstruction Plan. This is to include more than 30 billion euros in grants and low-interest loans. First of all, it's about ending one dispute. We look to the East, we look to the West, and this dispute in the West we want to end because the real enemy is in the East. And I think that all Polish people are aware of that. According to the draft amendment to the law on the Supreme Court, disciplinary and immunity cases of judges will be decided by the Supreme Administrative Court and not by the Supreme Court's Chamber of Professional Responsibility. All Solidarna Polska deputies voted against the amendment to the law. Solidarna Polska does not agree to financial blackmail from the European Union and changes under pressure of this blackmail and changes under pressure including the functioning of the Supreme Court. Members of the Poland 2050 parliamentary circle were also opposed. You cannot vote under the pressure of blackmail from a man who thinks he can falsify Polish people's thinking about what is the truth, what is law versus elementary honesty. The way Poland 2050 voted was a surprise to opposition deputies as well. One should help so that money from the European Union is there and not thinking of ways to block it. The majority of the opposition decided to abstain from the vote. Of course, we appreciate those who acted in a more reasonable manner than usual. We appreciate that part of the opposition understands that these measures are important for Poland. I am a bit shocked that the opposition did not support this project. The same also voted today for an amendment extending the laws of Akatio Legis from 14 to 21 days.